Alright, Mopar people. Welcome back to the channel. I'm just Mopar Joe. This is part two of that pre-painting prep I was showing you. I got some good video of stuff around the car. Um, but right now I'll show you what I'm facing before I get ready to paint this first section. So I have been vigorously washing the car. Um, and every time I wash, it, it's kind of silly, but I spray down in here, more trash comes out from underneath that. I take my blow gun and blow, more trash comes out. I wash it again, I blow it again. So it's been a 40 step process so far of doing that. You see I put a piece of tape here because I had foolishly started cleaning this out first and I had all that nice, all that funky black stuff out of there. And then I started washing this and that ran straight down into that channel which then I had, I'm going to have to wash these out again. So anyway, let me show you what I'm going to paint today. Um, that'll probably be in a different video. I'll give you a teaser at the end of this, this clip of what it actually looked like. Good, bad, or ugly. I'll show it to you. I'm not scared. Um, I'm going to do my doors, fenders, and rocker panel from that line forward. That way the car's nice and jacked up. I can get down and spray under here really well. I can spray all my front panel here, front of my fenders, I'll tape all that off. I am going to go ahead and shoot into here. This is a black primer that I used like a direct to metal because it had some metal spots showing and I had to strip it way on down to metal because it was so funky and messed up. Anyway, then I'll do this size doors, uh, fender, rocker, and then the cowl panel here. And I'll come down about an inch just so that whenever the hood is shut uh, you won't be able to see black into here and if he ever wanted to change his engine bay back to body color he could um, I got my hood springs off so they're set down and relaxed so I can shoot through here and that's part of the pre painting prep I have not done this side yet what I did was actually just run over it real quickly again with some wet 400 and my extra you can see this it's the ultra fine scotch bright I think it's either four or six hundred but any jams and stuff like this see I got a little metal showing there I got to fix but any little faint stuff like that I'll get my scotch bright and run over it run over it until it's gone so that's pre-painting prep in an instant um, I've got some good other footage of all the way around the car I have not blocked the roof yet you can see that it does not matter it won't matter um, until I go to spray that half the car my next step will be uh, pulling the trunk lid off I'll do the trunk and the hood very last I will uh, paint the other half of the car after I let her on down basically to the ground or just slightly above ground level so I can easily reach the top and I don't really have to worry about laying on my head to shoot all under that rocker uh, you can see my little chippy stuff back here I've been fixing See, I've, I've got that wiped. I've already wiped this one and blocked it. So I'll shoot a little bit of primer over that. There's also one there that I did. And it filled it in perfectly right down to the nitty gritty. So the doors are smooth. This is the one I, I had to redo some body work here because I had those spider cracks coming back. It's perfect now. Reprime the whole door. Reblock the whole door. Um, I'm trying to move fast today because... It's a beautiful day outside, and tomorrow is also a nice day, so I want to be sure and uh, get as much done as I can. I did some more work back here yesterday. I had a guy ask me about this dent right here. So if you can see it, it's actually, it looks like maybe where the quarter was put on or something. And I'll show you that with a tail light. So there's my tail. He's got a new lens for it. Let me slide that in and I'll show it to you. Okay, so there is that riveted kind of denny spot there. I actually have the correct tail light now slide in and you see it now it's gone away so it's covered by over a quarter inch there's no need me filling that in and working it extra these lights actually have a really nice gasket around them and everything so when I finish saying that I will just knock off that little bit of blackness there My that dent's totally fine so it would look sharp back here uh, like I said he does have some new lenses um, but I'm going to do a little bit more work on the pre-paint pre -paint prep stuff. I'll show you some of my other stuff. And I'll give you a little teaser of what this front half looks like. You'll have to wait 
on that paint video to come out. It'll be out soon. Uh, I'll shoot for maybe Saturday if I can get this out to you on a Thursday. Anyway, uh, I'm going back to work. All right, I have blown this car off 10 times over and over and over again. There goes Cousin Johnny. So, everywhere that there could be water, I blew out every crack, crevice, everything. I'm going to go ahead and pull my plastic over the car because I'm going to plastic off the back half, basically. And I'll get me some paper, do something over this black area here, get it masked up. But. So, I sent back the Habanero base coat and sent them a bolt out of the trunk. I think I showed that in a Facebook post or a YouTube post. Here's what I have now. Check that out. I'm going to stir and pull my stick out. I believe we are much, much closer now. It's actually red instead of orange. I had messed up with that color uh, sheet. So, there's our new red. I'm going to go stick a little bit on the door jam and show you the difference in the two. So, here's my jam. See, the orange spot is the habanero that I dabbed on there. And I saw that and I said, oh no. Right below there, I just dabbed some of the new on. It's a little bit darker red. That was actually a bare spot, so I went ahead and wiped over. But it's pretty close. So the further, obviously the further back you get, but the outside of the car will all be shot with that. I think it's going to be pretty slick and pretty close to factory or to whatever color was on the car. Somebody had asked me about the color code. Um, it says paint. PP3WP. I'm not sure what that code is. I'd have to look it up. <laughs> 